everybody, Christina here. I was just with my very good friend Jamie and he had asked me a question about the vlog series and he said that he remembered me saying in the first video that I was terrified of making videos and he was curious as to how I was doing this thing that I was terrified of and it struck me that I hadn't even really been thinking about the fact that I'm afraid of making videos. I've just been making them. And it made me want to talk a little bit about um, just the status of where I am with that and the interesting part of this journey, and it's moving pretty quickly for me, is that uh, the discomfort is going down as I make more videos, which seems a little intuitive. But I think that um, something that many people say, most recently I heard, and I don't know if I'm saying his name right, Kyle C., which is basically... Uh, you know, you rise to the occasion of your greatest challenge and um, you know, if we, the, the more time that we spend uh, trying to be perfect before we try to do something is a very sad waste of time. Um, we, we have this idea in our culture, an idea in our society that we have to be great first before we uh, make the leap. We have to be perfect before we can go and publish that piece of work. We have to um, be really affirmed before we take that jump and apply to that job. Um, we just can't do that thing unless we are perfect enough, skinny enough, smart enough, affirmed enough, validated enough, um, certain enough which is what I really think it's about, certain enough. We must be certain that the outcome will be good and that we won't be embarrassed, made fun of, feel badly about ourselves, or devalued or disempowered. And here's where it comes back into play with the power, where our power is, that I've been talking about in that series. Um, if your power is really with you, and you know yourself, and you are on an inner journey, and you know the sound of your inner voice, and you follow it, then you're not concerned about whether or not you are receiving validation from an external source. You follow it and you know that eventually it will lead you somewhere that you need to be, and period, and that's it. And you're not concerned about whether or not you're getting enough likes on Facebook, enough comments on Instagram, enough validation from your friends, and you're not concerned if you look silly because looking silly is probably part of it. So there's a big difference between taking a journey while knowing yourself, having done some internal exploration, and knowing what your own voice sounds like, and um, a journey where you are less in congruence with that, where you can't tell the difference between your voice and someone else's voice um, outside of you demanding something. Or maybe you're mistaking the voice of fear for your own voice. And the voice of fear, as Elizabeth Gilbert says, should never drive should never make the decisions. It can be part of you, but it shouldn't be driving the car. It shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't be making the decisions of your life. So all of that is to say that um, I'm here, I'm imperfect, I'm not an expert. Um, in many ways, I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I am not going to let that stop me in this experience. Um, I received a kind of inner guidance to do this, to go for it, to share myself, to figure it out, to see where it would take me, and that's what I'm doing. So I suppose the long answer to a short question that my friend asked me, how are you doing something that scares you when you already said that it scares you, is that I do it anyway. And I hope that, that is the message to other people that just because you are afraid or uncomfortable is not an indicator that that is not the right thing for you or the right step for you. And the only way that we know that is by going inward and knowing what our own voice even sounds like and having, to, uh, having the opportunity to take the moment, to take the step back, to move into our quiet space, um, into our real physical spaces that are ours, that we own, uh, that we claim for that purpose, for self-exploration. Until next time, tell your story, live your truth. Thanks for listening.